Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video is just going to show you how O-snaps work if you haven't worked with these already. These are object snaps and an object snap is basically something that allows you to snap to a point on an object like an endpoint, uh, midpoint, or center of a circle, center of an arc. There's a uh, a lot of these options available and I'm just going to go through some of them for you right now so I'm just going to start the line command and show you some of the basic ones I can draw a line from quadrant of a circle to another quadrant and back and forth and just keep going around and around now I'll just erase those I can draw a line from the center to the midpoint or to the end point and below here is a rectangle I can draw a line to the midpoint of a rectangle or to the end point just let me erase these get them out of the way now those are all pretty obvious but there's some that say if I want to draw a line to where these two lines would meet up it would be some point somewhere up here so I can just do a shift right click and go apparent intersection between this endpoint and this one and you can see right there that this line is going to match down to these two that's the apparent intersection uh, another one, and this is new in AutoCAD 2016, is if I want to get into the center of this rectangle, it'll be somewhere between this midpoint and this midpoint. Now, a lot of times you can just use object tracking and go that way. And I'm just going to undo that. Or another way, circle shift right click geometric center and there it is so I can just draw a circle right there so these are very easy to use once again I'm just gonna go and uh, shift right click and you can't see them all here there you go and there are quite a few I'm gonna show you another one that comes in handy I'm just gonna erase everything here and if I use the divide command I'm going to select this and I'm going to enter in uh, let's say six segments and now if I do a line I've got another O snap I can use and that is node and when I use the line command what it did is create nodes along this line and so I've got to turn it on each time and shift right click node I'm gonna go out here again shift right click to node and then there's my node so a node if I highlight this you can see that there's a node here a node here and the other places I clicked as well as the midpoint endpoints so that's a really handy one to know as well I'm just going to erase that and one other thing I'm going to look at is what's called the drafting settings or O-snap settings and these are ones that I keep running all the time endpoint midpoint center and if you use some like perpendicular I mean some people just select all and start drafting and when you get a really busy drawing with lots of lines and then you want to draw a line from okay is it the intersection you know is it the nearest is it the end point midpoint you know you get all these different O snaps and it gets a little too confusing and that's when mistakes get made so if I type in O snaps, OS, I'm going to clear everything and just go back to the ones I use. Quadrant I'll put on as well if I'm using a lot of circles. Um, normally you're not going to uh, use that a lot. 
And I'm just going to show uh, one other one that's handy. I'm just going to draw a circle here. And I'm going to draw a line over here. And I'm going to draw a line that is tangent from this circle. And you can see how I've got uh, a no snap marker there with three little dots, which means I can basically clip anywhere along here. And then I'm going to go to this midpoint and then go back out. I could go to the quadrant. But what I want to do is go to the tangent again. And now if I trim this up, you can see I get a nice smooth line coming off each time from there. So tangent is something you can use uh, quite often when you're trying to draw smooth lines off of circles and arcs. And uh, really there's... Um, you know parallel perpendicular these are all pretty well self-explanatory insert is your block or text insert point but for the most part you're going to be using just a handful of them a lot and one other thing I'll just quickly show you here is object tracking where I can work off the endpoint and then say I want to go 50 units off of here and there's my new line and go 50 units off of here and back so it's um, and that's turned on and off with F11 so you can see your icon here just like O snaps have their own icon as well you'll see by pressing the F3 key you can turn them on and off so if they're off right now and I go to draw a line and I just click here did it go to the endpoint? no because my O snaps were turned off one quick way to fix that is to just use grips but we'll save that for another video and even that's a little off too there we go so anyway been a quick look at OSnaps. This is uh, mycadsite.com. Uh, please visit my website and check it out. Uh, it's a free AutoCAD course, no registration required. So um, thanks for watching.